What's up guys, welcome back for some more Terraria. I'm Drew Nicely, this is Nicely Done. And for today's episode, let's talk about some accessories. Mainly the Ankh Shield and the one or the accessories that we've accumulated. <laughs> the end of that last episode we acquired a wild moon charm. Actually, I think we acquired an additional moon charm as well. I don't know where that went. Did I throw it in up here? I did not. Oh, it's right there. Derp. The Jagged Moon Charm. That's what we got. Uh, I should probably look at see which one's better. I can't remember what I combined that with. I'll have to look at that. But we're basically going to be talking about the Ankh Shield today. Um, and I also found a white, a wolf fang. Or a wolf fang dropped the end of the last episode but for one of the most complicated crafting recipes in Terraria we have the onk shield the onk shield requires several different things <laughs> and a bunch of crafting to do um, I think there's a couple things that we could do already do I have anything in my inventory? Let's just clean out my inventory real quick. Drop all those ores in there. Still don't know what Amber does. If y'all know, let me know. <laughs> um, maybe I can come in here and do something with it. Let's grab the crystal and the Amber. I just want to see this real quick, see if I can do anything with this. Nothing with the Titanium Forge. And nothing with, or I might not have enough to be able to see anything yet. But in any case, while I'm putting these away, why, why is there ore in here? Why? Why was there ore put in there? These dogs need to stop barking. <laughs> in any case, I've said that like nine times already. We got two wolf fangs. Ridiculous. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Let's get our little werewolf pit out. Werewolf pit! Look at that sexy bastard. <laughs> For a split second. While I put the fang back away. He's pretty cool. Comes, hangs around. He can fly. Just like we can. I don't know if he does any damage though. Pretty sure he doesn't. Just another dude hanging out. Pretty cool. Back on the subject, there are a few things that we already have to craft, or in the steps of crafting the Ankh Shield, one of which is the Obsidian Shield, which you can get by tinkering or crafting, however you want to call it, by crafting together, I call it crafting because I, everything's crafting recipes because you're combining and other stuff. I, I don't know, probably because I started off as Minecraft player a bunch. Anyway, off the subject, we need to craft together an obsidian skull and a cobalt shield, which look like... This is a cobalt shield, if you aren't familiar. Um, I don't have an extra obsidian skull. Basically just looks like... One of these, but purple. <laughs> um... Combine those two to make the obsidian shield. We already have that. And that's all that is needed for that part of the tree. Now the rest of it, <laughs> we need the bezoar and the band-aid, the adhesive bandage, which we found I didn't write down all the enemies that we dropped. There's a bunch. A lot of them are mummies. Um, and a lot we can just go to the dungeon and get some stuff. Kill a bunch of skulls. Um, we could go to the crimson, get or kill some crimson swords, corruptors, or let's go to corruption, kill some corrupted swords, corrupted corruptors, and all this other fun stuff. But we've already had luck with a lot of really nice items <laughs> we've got it off pretty easy 
in the sense of like progression. A lot of stuff has been just here you go. <laughs> anyway, we crack together the Bezor and the adhesive bandage to make the medicated bandage. And that is all that's needed for that step. Oh, uh, what is the next step? <laughs> we have... I don't think we can craft any more of the next steps. But I'll rearrange this real quick. And put what we need at the top. We need the fast clock. That we will combine with the trifold map. Which... I think drops off of corruptors. Don't quote me on that. If I could crop in like a little the tree that I have or the picture that I have, if I can crop it into the video, I'll do so right now. But I got it off the Terraria wiki, so you could pretty much just search it off the Terraria wiki there. <laughs> The armor polish will craft with vitamins. Vitamin, oh, that's what drops off the corruptors. Vitamins drop off corruptors. Trifold map. I think we get off of mummies. Um, but with the armor polish, we'll need to combine that with vitamins. So we're probably gonna go to the corruption today. Cause there's a lot of stuff we can kill in the corruption that will drop a lot of these items. I want to try to get the Ankh shield in this episode. If not, then tough titties. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get it eventually. It'll be in the next few episodes. There's at the rate that we're getting these rare item drops. It's we're going to have the Ankh shield in no time. Ankh shield, if you're just like sitting there, it's like, what are you talking about, dude? What is this Ankh shield? Ankh shield is probably one of the best items to have equipped at all times. It removes all of like the poison buff or the poison debuff. It removes the on fire debuff. It removes a whole bunch of stuff. Um... And once we get it, I'll be able to explain it further, but it is extremely necessary in my opinion. <laughs> um, the Nazar, I think, is the other item that we had. Do we have the Nazar? Zoom out. We do not have a Nazar. The Nazar we can get from killing the Corrupted Swords. And, uh, wow, my inventory's still full. I should probably put that safe down. Huh. Wah, 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 wah. Let's put the adhesive bandage in there. Um, wild moon charm. I don't know if being a werewolf gives you any buffs, other than just being a werewolf and knowing when it's day and night at the moment that it happens. Um, so yeah, we'll probably just put that away for now. Don't really need it. Wolf Fang, we already have him out. Um, I'm wearing the melee. Let's put the Sharanga there. And the Demon Scythe. Or... Yeah, instead of the Demon Scythe, we'll use the Sun Fury for right now. Um, the last two items that I don't even have a part of are the Nazar and the Megaphone. The Megaphone, can't remember what drops off. And the Nazar combined to make a Counter Curse Mantra. The Bezor and the Bandage gave us the Medicated Bandage. The vitamins and armor polish will give us armor bracing and the trifold map and the fast clock will give us the plan and with those four items combined 
Our true power will be... No. <laughs> Those four items combined make an Ankh Charm. And with that Ankh Charm, we combine that with the Obsidian Shield to make the Ankh Shield. Yeah, yeah. Sounds so simple, yet intensely complicated. So, why not? Let's go to the Corruption. Hope we don't kill off our jungle. That would kind of suck. Um, I know there's a bunch of things that we still need to get from the Mimics. And I still want to get full Palladium armor. And there's a helicopter that's flying by my house because there's a fire over the hill in Santa Monica. So don't mind that. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, we still need to get like the cross necklace. I think I'm just gonna make a farm down in the underground. Oh, oh we have no fall damage on, derp. And I hate this non-mobility and I didn't bring the safe. I'm gonna get my, uh, my double jump back or triple jump going again because once we get like uh, I think it's a red balloon we can combine that with the sandstorm and bottle and make freaking ridiculous um, don't need the mana cuffs actually we probably do need the mana cuffs for health regen purposes but I'll just keep those in my inventory call that good Swap this out with a day bloom because that doesn't need to be in that line. I consider like these first four lines to be our active inventory and what the necessary items that we're going to be using go there. Um, let's see, swap this back out with why not? Flower fire. All right. Oh, didn't grab the safe. That's what I was doing. To the corruption we go. Uh, uh. So we're going to be specifically hunting corruptors and like corrupted blades. I think those spawn in the daytime. I'm not 100%. Uh, uh. But we did learn a lot so far in this episode. If you caught at all anything that I was saying. <laughs> Instead of just listening to me ramble. Or if you watch my videos in silent. Sorry, I was kind of boring there for a second just standing there shadow slimes that is one thing we need to kill dark mummies oh shadow mummy is that a mobile version of the dark mummy we got souls of night that'll help us with some things oh and i'm i think i'm going to make a storage facility specifically for hard mode items and things that we will be using in hard mode um, it'll include my overall loot and all of that other kind of fun stuff. Um, so like the accessories would go in there, or the accessories that we'd need for hard mode would go in there. Bad Corruptor. Just die. Let's just dive down in here, because we can isolate what spawns. There we go. Shadow mummies. Corruptors, yeah. I'm about to die. What the hell was I just saying? <laughs> it is really dark down here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. We're gonna make a storage facility probably another let's build uh, different than the let's build I had planned oh that shadow orb is just chilling there it wants me to break it um, I could probably break more of these uh, demon altars just so we can get some more titanium more orichalcum damn it well I mean orichalcum is better than palladium so I that's better. Hey, look! Orichalcum! Right here. 
<laughs> Get in my face, Wraith. Got Souls of Night. Does that mean it's nighttime? Or it's just dark enough for Wraiths to spawn? We got a Wraith banner. Beautiful. Eat Pone Hammer to the face. Got rotten chunks. Still not getting what we need. I don't know why I'm staying in this little hole either. Let's just go back up here. There's a nice flat surface. Beep, 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 beep. Alright guys, start spawning in. Start spawning in. Spawning in, 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 in. Is this a bomb statue? Bomb statue. I think we can use bomb statues to help us dig. Um, or they spawn some kind of enemy, I can't remember. There's a bunch of shadow orbs here, so we can do, we could fight. Why not? Let's fight the wall of flesh while we're fighting, or not the wall of flesh. Uh, the, the eater of worlds. Yeah, the eater of worlds. While we're looking for corruptors and stuff to kill. Boom. Oh, I don't have regen on. That's my problem. Okay, this is coming off. Um, did I put that in the safe? No, it's right there. Okay. Ugh. Okay, regen's back up. And I'm not wearing crimson armor. So I don't have the regen coming from that either. Where was that other shadow orb? Here's one. There's like four of them right here. Holy crap. There's titanium right there too. So let's grab that before we start fighting. <laughs> titanium! Zest huh. uh. armor, you need to kind of back up a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, hey look, teal mushroom. We need that. Uh. Get some cool looking armor. Create some magic. What? How did we pick up a shadow orb? That doesn't make sense. I didn't know you could pick those up. <laughs> um, really don't need one topaz. There's gonna be a bunch of loot dropping, so don't need. Uh, I'll leave the gel. Don't need the mushroom. All right, let's fight the eater of worlds. <laughs> Ow! That kind of hurts. Doing a lot of damage though. Let's get the Sun Fury out. Because that does faster damage. Um, yeah. I can kind of just sit there with the Sun Fury out. Like that. Look how much damage this is doing. <laughs> Can't even come out of the ground. I can just stand here and tank it. Here we go. Just tanking the Eater of Worlds. Don't mind me. <laughs> there you go. Eater Worlds is dead. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, and it doesn't look like we're finding any of the items that I want. So we're going to end up making... <sighs> I understand you want to settle down, to Truffle. I just... That's what our next build is going to be. <laughs> for this weekend. Um. Oh! Flying Orb! Slimer! Come here! Um, we gotta kill giant bats for another one. More items. Is my inventory full again? It is. Don't need this. We don't need this. Um. Why aren't these stackable? 
Interesting. Let's equip it and see what it does. Oh! Nice! It's light. That's cool. It's kind of slow, but it's light. Hey, and there's a chest. Oh, we're grabbing this chest. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Oh! Lava charm! Look at that! Cool stuff. We need that for the lava waiters, I think. Um, but yeah. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. It would really help me out. Like, you guys don't know how much it would help me out. Curse flame. Oh! Next episode, we probably might craft a really nice lighting object. The wisp. Um, well, yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Talk to me down in the comments. Let me know how I did. And I will see y'all in the next episode. And we'll grind out a bunch of stuff. Make some cool farms and whatnot. Or more farms in other areas. Different shapes and sizes and whatnot. But yeah, see y'all next time. Peace.